All right, so let's take a look at the drive reduction theory of motivation, right? So this is another theory of a motivation. So it's looking at why we do what we do. So what motivates us to do something? Now, according to the drive reduction theory, this theory says that our motivation, so our motivation to do something comes from a disruption in homeostasis. So remember from biology, homeostasis is our state of equilibrium, right? So in our body, we need things to be equal. And if that is disrupted or we have an imbalance of something, then this is going to drive us to reduce that imbalance. And so that's what drive reduction theory really describes. It's our drive to reduce that imbalance from homeostasis. So let's take a closer look at what exactly this means. So when we have some imbalance, right, in our body, it senses that. So first, let's start off with this. I'll draw a little box here. And this is our need, right? So we have some chemical imbalance or some imbalance in our body and this creates a need right maybe our blood sugars fallen or our uh, blood volume is lowered so uh, we might need more water we might need to drink some water so our need is going to be the most basic examples food or maybe water so this imbalance creates a need and so what happens next is that we have a drive so the drive part of drive reduction theory so our brain creates this drive created by brain so what would our drive be in this case when we need food and water it would be our hunger and our thirst so we have some need due to an imbalance in our body so food and water, and this in turn creates a drive from the brain. So this is going to drive us to do something about it. And so we have this final box that leads us to our drive reduction behaviors, such as eating or drinking in this case. So we are driven to reduce our drive through these behaviors, right? And this makes sense. So when we have this need for food and water, we are driven um, by our brain. So it tells us that it needs food and water by giving us hunger and thirst. And then what do we do? We drive and reduce these drives through our behaviors with eating or drinking. And then we will no longer feel this hunger or thirst. And so this is the basic definition of the drive reduction theory. It says that our motivation comes from some disruption in our homeostasis. And so this creates a need, which then in turn, we have a drive to do something about it. And then we have drive reduction behaviors that will essentially deal with this drive. And then essentially we feel fulfill our need that and, and that is meant.